What's going on guys, it's your friend Jack, and today we're going to be doing a fun little video. We're going to be designing for hot niches that I actually covered in my previous video. We're going to be doing quite a few of them, so if you want to see my design process and how I design with Photoshop and place it, then get ready, stay tuned, and I'm going to tell you guys how I make these designs and the end results so you guys can see what type of things I'm doing for my print demand business. Hopefully, they can inspire you and you know get you to take some more action, make some cool designs, and get you you a better idea on the types of things you can make with simple text, Photoshop, and graphic images. And the first niche that we're going to be working with to make some cool images and graphics with the first niche is going to be, it's going to be this nurse needs a coffee. So rather than walk you through how I'm doing all these designs specifically, I'll give you guys a general idea once the design is done. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to design with Photoshop and place it. I'll let you guys know which kind of process I took for each design. But get ready because this next, this first design, these coffee and these nurses are going to get a very nice looking design. Get ready. And when I snap my fingers, we're going to teleport to the design. Oh, and here we are. Here is the first design reveal. This nurse needs a coffee. I just did this nurse needs coffee. There's a few ways I could adjust this to make it a bit different. I could take out the coffee cup, put it at the bottom, make the word coffee bigger. I could also put needs a coffee and then use the A and the coffee cup together. There's a lot of things I could do differently. However, this is the basic design I came up with. I basically took me about five minutes to do this. I used a public domain vector images site to get the coffee cup. I'll link a video for the public domain uh, basically sites that you can get some free graphics from. I didn't use Placeit for this one, just Photoshop and some fonts from dafont.com. Uh, free fonts that are uh, fair use, public domain fonts from there. And this is what I came up with, right? This curse, this nurse needs coffee. I did put a black stroke on all the letters. So this is also, so say I'm on Redbubble and I have white text, it's gonna be able to actually appear on a white background. Um, except for the coffee word, which I forgot. So it would appear on a white background really, really well. Um, as long as you actually have the stroke enabled on all of them. So in a white background, it still looks good. So you can put this on a white shirt even. And also on a black, it does, um, on Photoshop, it comes up, you can't see any of the black lines. You will be able to see a little bit of the black lines on a black shirt. I know this, but it's not really going to bother people. It's just a nice, simple stroke. It's not like a gradient or anything crazy. And it makes me, it allows me to basically apply this to multiple products. So it's something I do from time to time. I don't do it for every design, but it's not a bad idea. All right, and the next niche we're going to be designing for is Dad, the Man, the Myth, the Piano Legend. And this one's actually going to be quite fun. I'm going to see if I can use Photoshop with Placeit, and we're going to see how that turns out. All right, so here we are in Placeit. I actually found this template when I typed in piano. And real quick, I'm going to design this along with you guys. I'm going to show you how long this takes when you find a template like this. Um, it looks good. It looks like a piano. We're going to make the background black. Then we're going to make our fonts white. And I'm going to show you guys an idea I just had to make this design basically exactly what we want. And it's going to look good in a matter of just a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is make everything else black, white, and make the outer frame, let's say, red, or maybe you want, maybe you want to go retro. Retro colors would look really good on this. So stuff like oranges and maybe a red here or a blue here, like a retro blue. It's kind of hard to get all the retro color palettes without actually clicking on the actual retro color palette. But let's just say we're going to go with these colors here. That's pretty retro enough for me. And chase the melody of life. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is dad. And then we're going to do the man. The myth. If I can type. So it's really that simple. When you have placed it, that's why I like placed it. I'll come on here and make a design in a few seconds. It looks really good. The man, the myth, the piano. Legend. So that's simple. Now I'm definitely going to fix up the text because these texts look pretty darn bad in my opinion. And honestly, out of frame, we're just going to go white and we're going to go, uh, let's say red or yellow. 
So dad, we're going to make that much bigger. And we're going to change the fonts because these fonts look pretty, you know, not so great. I like to use Bebe New. I always like Bebe New. It's always good. It is just a good font in general. And then we're going to turn this at the bottom to probably Bebe New as well. And let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks pretty darn nice. We're going to make our piano keys a little bit smaller. And sometimes you can go on the second line for these designs. In this case, I can't. So what I'm going to do, add another text. I'm just going to take off the background here like this. And then change the text color. We're going to leave it on white. So the man, the myth. So I want them to be on separate lines, the man, the myth. I think it would look better. And then we're going to go like this, make this much smaller, bring this over here. And then just make your fonts whatever ones you want. We're going to use that font. I think that looks good. We'll use that for these two. Wrong one. And then after you've done that, you have a full fledged design. In just a few minutes you don't have to be a pro designer to do anything I just did it's very simple and honestly this design looks pretty darn nice like this is a especially on a sticker something like this would look really good if you're putting it on a sticker obviously you want to make sure you probably don't use the white font um, but dad the man the myth the piano legend bam right there piano design I think I could also do a really good job with Photoshop and this design if I just take these simple things probably just remove the outer border and do something like this and then make it really big but in general i think this is a great design and yeah let's move on to the third design see what else we can do with photoshop and place it all right the next trend we're going to be designing for it's going to be the third trend i think we're going to do five for this video it's going to be leveled up to fiance with 195 results on amazon and a lot of good selling designs now let's get to it i'm just going to reveal the design i think we're going to do this one in photoshop and let's see what i can make in just all right, and I actually changed my mind. I couldn't really find any good graphics for free on on like the free graphic images, the ones I wanted to use. So I went over to place it and I found this simple template and it took me literally less than two minutes to make this design. Also something I would recommend if you, you know, want to change up the design, you can take just these images on the right here and you can change them, but you can also take them over to Photoshop and add your own text add your own other elements and combine them over here you can't really do that but honestly i kind of have like two or three designs right here if i just want to change the colors of things and change the graphics but that is the one i'm going with right here this is the third design and now let's get to the fourth one and the fourth one this is a pretty pretty large competitive niche however we're going to be ranking for the words cat daddy if we go for this so we're going to use cat daddy as our basic shirt and our design and let's see what we can do get ready you're not ready all right here's my cat daddy design i use place it for this one because this template's pretty darn awesome but you can even change these some place it like this and bam another cat daddy design i think these designs actually look really good i'm not gonna lie and i think it's pretty hilarious this is kind of a pocket design but you could definitely just put it on the center of the shirt it would still look good and yeah that's the cat daddy design and with that being said let's get to the final design all right and our final final niche that we're going to be designing for is cousin crew so just like this we're going to go to the next design and i'm going to show you guys what i came up with all right and this is what i came up with nothing too crazy i just wanted to kind of show you guys that you don't always need to go all out with your designs you don't have to go crazy hours and hours i literally made this in 35 seconds all I have really to be able to make this is a few fonts that I use for, you know, some designs. Just go to defont.com and you can find a bunch of free fonts over there that you can use commercially. And once you find a good few, you'll be able to use them on your print and demand designs. Bold fonts are really good. I've done separate videos on fonts, so maybe I'll link that down in the description or have it on screen. But yeah, good fonts, good templates. You don't need to be huge, crazy, um, but you could add more to this. Obviously, I did this really quick just as a proof of concept. But you could do something like this, add a layer and make it, you know, make a very simple line here, you know, because it just to make it a little, little bit more interesting, you could add some lines, you could do simple things like that. And when you're proficient with Photoshop, you could do these types of things really easily. 
just pre being proficient with the tool is really helpful and you can make designs look good and add extra little things like that but that's all i have for you guys today stay tuned for the outro though because i got something else to tell you and the thing i have to tell you guys is that these videos are going to be a weekly thing so make sure you stay tuned for the trend videos and the design videos i'm going to be doing them every week i think it's fun and i think it's cool to bring you guys into my design print and demand kind of mind show you guys how i do things and how i'm improving on my designing and all that place it and photoshop are my two main tools i kind of use them 50 50 now at this point it used to be only place it but I like using Photoshop as well and mixing in some of the graphics with the two. So that's also something I want to tell you guys. And with all that being said, if you made it to this point in the video, make sure you guys smash the like button and comment down below trend design. And I'll be sure to heart your comments and make sure to reply to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your friend Jack. Keep striving. Stay blessed. Stay hungry. And I'll see you guys in the next freaking video. Peace.